name is Sarah Wadakwa, and I look after Dubai Chamber's office in Ghana with oversight responsibility over West Africa. In the wake of the global pandemic, Dubai Chamber's office in Ghana, in collaboration with the other African offices, organized several webinars to showcase Dubai's resilience in the face of the, of the pandemic. These webinars aim at sensitizing our business partners and companies in general on the safeguards that the Dubai government have put in place to protect life, as well as the many business incentives that the Dubai government have put in place for companies from Africa. Requests for collaborations and introductions from companies after this webinar has mainly been in the health sector, where several companies in the health industry are looking at connecting with like-minded companies in Dubai. The manufacturing sector as well has seen great interest, and we believe this is as a result of our webinar on the implementation of the African Continental Free Trade Area Agreement, which kicked off on the 1st of January. With the aim of increasing intra-trade in Africa, Several companies and individuals are positioning themselves to partner with Dubai manufacturers to scale up their production capabilities with the hope of exporting more in Africa. Most companies and individuals our office has interacted with over the past six to eight months have actually extolled Emirates Airlines, for example. Over the procedures that they have instituted and their policies to ensure that people fly to Dubai safely to do business and also for pleasure. This has resulted in almost four flights from Ghana to Dubai. Dubai Chamber's office in Ghana seeks to further expound the virtues of Dubai as an attractive business hub for African businesses. We hope to further engage our business partners and encouraging them to further look to Dubai for their business needs and business, business interactions.